morning, EMS Band and Orchestra. It's Mr. Benson. Welcome to our new YouTube channel, Mr. BTV. This video is to walk you through setting up your account and submitting assignments in our new online music learning software platform, Smart Music. Rather than sit here and talk at you, I'm going to turn this over to your peers and let Kate Callanan, Madison Barr, and Sophie West walk you through the use of Smart Music. If you get to the end of this video and you still have questions, problems, concerns, or difficulties, you can feel free to email me to set up a Google Meet and I'll help walk you through it as best I can. I hope that everybody is safe and well, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Have a good day. Creating an account on Smart Music and logging in. First, you'll want to go to join a class. Here, you will put in your email, And you will put in the class code that Mr. Benson has provided you in his email. All right, click find your class and then you'll click join this class. Next, you want to create an account. You will click United States of America and New York. Click at least 13 years old. Then you'll do your first name, last name, your email, which is, should already be there because you had to use it to join a class. Backup email if you want to put that in and you will put in a username. It has to be school appropriate. Mine will be, oh. Okay, then you will create a password. Confirm the password. Then you select your instrument you want to Oh, I do not play the piccolo. Let's see, you can type it in to find it better. And then you click, I have red terms and conditions, and you click create an account. Save. Now, Mr. B will get an activation email, and he has to accept your email. So wait for him to accept you. I'm Maddie and I'll be going over how to open an assignment and how to ma manipulate controls. So right away here we have we can see all of the assignments that, assignments so we have two assignments here just click on Majestia so to actually go into the assignment you just have to click complete assignment and then select your instrument Okay, so here we are in the actual assignment and the actual piece. So here is just some instructions and then the rubric. Just hit close. Okay, so here is the play button and the record button. The play button, if you press it, it will allow you to play, it allows you to hear and play with the rest of the band. So. You can also you can also skip around measures. So say I wanted to go straight to measure 12, I could just click on measure 12 and then press the play button. And over here, these arrows let you skip between pages. So if there's a certain measure you're looking for, you 
and just go through here. Okay, so not only can you skip around measures, you can also, if the tempo is too high, then you can just go over here, and then you can hit the minus button, then you can also type in a specific tempo, so say I wanted it at 120, or I could just type in 120, and then that's the speed it will play it at. And, and if I want to batch the original tempo, I can just click the arrow right there, and then it will bring me back. So up here, you can mute different things. So if you want to mute the accompaniment, then you just hit right here. You can also make it softer or louder. If I want to mute it, then I will only hear what I'm supposed to play. And then here, you can also mute the metronome. So, you can make the metronome louder or softer. So, if you want to mute it, I just here. It will still count you in. And then you can also add the subdivisions on the metronome. Um, okay, I think that's it. Hi guys, it's Sophie, and I'm going to be showing you how to record and then submit an assignment through SmartMeet. I think Maddie already showed you how to start an assignment, but today we're going to be doing chromatic scale still. I'll play fast and slow. Okay, so now we're in the assignment, and it still allows you to use all the controls you are allowed to use when you're um, practicing. So you can still practice freely until you feel ready to record. Um, I think the accompaniment will still play when you are recording, but I think you can also turn that off if it distracts you. I also recommend tuning before you play. So, here we go. So now it's going to ask you to calibrate your microphone. Um, make sure your headphones are unplugged for this, otherwise it may not work. Alright, so now you can plug your headphones back in, mine are plugged in, and you can be begin. So now we're done with the assignment, um, and you can see that the notes are green. That means uh, I played them correctly, they're at the right time, and it should be just fine to turn it in. But if it didn't work out so well, the notes will be red, meaning you just played the wrong note or wasn't in the right spot and stuff. But there's also a yellow note, and that will be before or after the correct note, and it indicates that you either played it early or you played it late. So, if it's not what you like, you can delete it and just try it again. Or you can listen to it, like this. Okay, that's enough. And if, if, if you're happy with it, um, it should be fine to save. And then you'll have your document. And then submit. And that's all you need to do to record and submit an assignment. See ya! Now it's just loading. All right.